Hello! We have been trying to do a day in the life since we got home. We've almost been home for a week and a half. The babies are two weeks old tomorrow. It's August 4th and they were born on the 22nd of July and we spent four days in the hospital. So today has been an insane day. I am already in PJs at 6 o'clock. My hair's wet because I had to take a shower because I got projectile pooed on by little girl and peed on by little boy and bled on by little boy because they had their wellness check today. They got pricked in the heel and he got circumcised and they both got tongue ties clipped. So it has been a crazy day. They are taking naps right now. I have to wake them up to feed them every three hours. So I gotta wake them up soon. He is always slides down, but we have them napping. We have to supplement pumped breast milk for her because um, she's not getting enough right now when she feeds. So they are having us supplement a bottle after we try feeding a little bit. So we will see how that goes. Hoping it goes well. This is our little setup that we have going on. This is what we came home to from the hospital. Gifts and flowers. My mom printed off all these pictures of them. My sister had these made. Cute little plates. And then we had friends give us flowers and food and everything since we've been home. We just had a friend drop off a zucchini lasagna for us which was so sweet of her my husband likes to do the keto diet so that will be really good but yeah we'll check back in at the next feeding Okay, so we just finished breastfeeding um, both Everett and Amelia. Husband took Everett to burp him. And since Amelia's not gaining enough, they asked me to feed her 60 milliliters in a bottle after each feeding. So she just fed for 30 minutes since they don't know how much she's getting each time. And now she's passed out, so she... <laughs> She won't take the bottle, and I honestly think she is full. <laughs> so let's see. Let me do bottle. Who might be pee? Can you see her? She's not having it. Sweet pee. Hope you, baby. <coughs> Come on, wake up. You need you? Come on. Come on, sweet pea. <laughs> she is not. I <laughs> see you can. Go get that sweet girl. Come on, you gotta wake up. Gotta eat some more. Doctor's orders. Are you gonna eat some more? This is a preemie nightgown and it's still big on her. Okay, let's see. There you go. Not having it. Maybe we'll give her a little break and try again. I know, mommy's disturbing you. Here. You still hungry? 
<laughs> She's getting mad. Okay. Okay. She's not having it. Mm. Try again in a little bit, I guess. Don't know what else to do. Okay, so it is 8 o'clock and we're getting ready to go upstairs and this is all the stuff I have to bring with me. All of... <laughs> no husband. All of my pumping stuff, my medicine from my C-section, my pumping yeah, bra. You are not going to work out. <laughs> He's not going to work out. Um, my pumping stuff, their... Um, nip, bottle nipples. We have the skeletons upstairs. We're using the kind system. The scale to weigh and then I got a spoon to get out the Vaseline for his little diapers because of his his um, circumcision. And this swaddle, daddy swaddled you and it's covering your little face so I've been watching him carefully but it's time for his Tylenol and I feel bad waking him up an hour before feeding, but I don't want him to feel pain. So I'm gonna have to Okay, so we have to give him his medicine Baby Tylenol every four hours My sweet pee last time he spit it up a little bit Oh no, he knows what get his little pee. He knows something's going on. Hi sweet pee Can mama give this to you? Oh god He's not opening. He doesn't like it. Oh, got some more. Go ahead, eat it. Oh god, he's gonna spit it up. Eat it, baby. Oh, my sweet pea. That wasn't bad. <laughs> okay, so we are upstairs for the night. It's like 8.30. The babies eat again at 9. I brought my pumping stuff and my medicine all upstairs. This is our spare bathroom that we just kind of have another washing station set up. So we just throw all the used nipples into there and then wash it and dry it in here when we're upstairs. This is the kind bottle system where I can pump directly into the breast milk bag and then they pop into here and then the nipple pops on it. It's super easy. So then I also have the scale to weigh and mark the date and everything. And then I have dish soap up here too. So that is our spare bathroom with our stuff here everybody's getting ready for bed i've got my nursing pillow the twin z that i use and then the boppy lounger that i'll put the one of the babies in um usually everett because he spits up so i'll put everett in there so he can be upright for a little bit before i lay him back down to go to bed but here's my sweet peas they've got a little bit longer to sleep until I wake them up. I, I just brought him back up. He just got his medicine. And then we have their swaddles because we'll put them in the actual like swaddle, Velcro swaddles for sleeping and they won't sleep with these blankets um, when we're also asleep and not watching them. But the AC vent kind of blows directly on them. So I worry about them getting cold. And our friends came in and put this up. For us to come home to the hospital is super sweet um, and then I've got receiving blankets for the middle of the night I have um, little pacifier wipes a hand sanitizer nipple shield for her and like desitin which we haven't had to use yet and then I have just more burp cloths and then extra sleeper jammies in case they like have a blowout or something but this is the Delta Children's Twin Double Bassinet. It can go up and over my bed. 
um, or a bed but mine has the floorboard too close to the ground so mine it doesn't really work as well for plus I wouldn't be able to get in and out so I just have them against the wall and then I had to have a stool to get into bed um, the first few days after my c-section and I'm still sleeping with my nursing or my pregnancy pillow because of my c-section and then we have over here a super mini fridge for the pumped breast milk if I need to put it in there in the middle of the night and then I have a bunch of other goodies snacks my prenatal vitamins my nipple cream more of the breast milk bags for the middle of the night stuff nursing um, pads diapers I have this first drawer full of diapers and wipes for them so yeah that's our setup we'll check back in at our next feeding my dad is burping Everett <laughs> slash giving him a baby massage okay yeah. we are done with the nine o'clock feeding it is what time is it 9 30 so she fed for about 20 minutes we had to take a 10 minute break when she fell asleep and we had to wake her back up by changing her again and then little man is sitting up in the boppy lounger because he has a lot of reflux or spit up issues so they suggest having him sit up for 30 minutes after each feeding I'm just burping Amelia and then I'll put her in the lounger for a little bit and then we'll swaddle them both and put them to bed and then I'm going to sleep through the 12 o'clock feeding hopefully and dad is going to feed them um, a bottle for the 12 o'clock feeding and then I'll be up again for the 3 a.m. feeding so I'm going to pump when I'm done with her and then dad will give them the pumped bottle so we'll see how it all goes Amelia she's wide awake she just finished eating hi sweet pea hi mommy needs to get you a blankie here's brother he's sleeping I need to get mittens on you so you quit scratching your little face and then mommy's going to go to bed. Yay! Oh, big yawn. So sweet. So I am pumping now. Let's see if it's going to show. I have the new Freestyle Medela pump. So it's wireless, hands-free pump. I need to like put some kind of clip on it though so it can like clip so I can walk around easier with it but these are the kind milk bags breast milk bags that screw completely into the pump and then clip into the bottle so it's awesome and it's all completely cord free so we just charge this and then I can walk around the house and do whatever Okay, so um, I just got done pumping and what I do is just take all the breast pump parts apart and throw in my bucket of hot soapy water and then I'll wash that and then I cap the breast milk bags and then I weigh them. So I already know that I weigh them by the milliliter slash gram and eight uh, empty bag is eight grams so I just do this and I minus eight grams so I pumped 75 minus eight is what 67 <laughs> 67 I think um, milliliters slash grams of breast milk which is actually perfect amount for Amelia so I write it on here 
67 milliliters and I usually put the time which it's 9.30 because four to six hours later that needs to go in the fridge. So if she doesn't drink it all, my husband will throw it in the fridge a.m. and then I'll put the date which is the fourth, 8-4. So that's what I do every time. Oops. So that's what I do every time. If I am going to mark them for the fridge, I just put the date in the milliliters. Sometimes I'll split them up because he doesn't eat as much. So I'll like pour some into new bag before I refrigerate or freeze it. So that's pretty much all I do. And then once they're ready to eat, you take, I take this skeleton, which is the kind system, pop it in place like that. And then you take the lid off and you just put the nipple on and it pops on like that and then you feed it and then all you're doing is washing the nipple which is amazing you're not washing the entire thing um, which is my favorite part with twins obviously it's now 10 15 we started their feeding at 9 I was hoping to be sleeping by 10 because I get to sleep from now until 3 a.m. if Dean does the um, 12 o'clock feeding. But as soon as we put these guys down, he accidentally peed through all of his swaddle and his elf and his pajamas. And so we had to re-change him so now he's awake oh mommy has the bright light in here i am sorry so now he's awake again and it's because we had to put a ton of vaseline on his diaper for his circumcision but then the pee has nowhere to go because the vaseline is so sh slick so it just this is the third time today that it's just gone up his back so we don't know what to do First time boy mom. I don't know. So the hardest part with twins and the feeding and the changing and the pumping is by the time we and I have help with my husband. So I say we, but imagine if it was just me. Change, feed, burp, let them sit up so they don't have the reflux, then pump lay them back down it's like an hour and a half we wake them up every three hours so technically that's only an hour and a half that i would be able to sleep before i have to start the whole process over again so it's really hard if you are doing it by yourself and i'm very scared for when my husband goes back to work in four weeks because i will be doing it by myself but and mom, what can I do? 12 o'clock feeding. Dean is feeding them the bottle. I would be sleeping, but um, brother peed through his clothes again. And so I heard him crying and I had to help. Poor baby. Okay, it is three in the morning. Dean, my husband, has been up all night with the babies. He took the 12 o'clock feeding and Everett, our boy, has been awake the entire time fussing and crying. So I haven't gotten good sleep either even though that was like my shift to try to sleep. I'm pumping now because my mom comes at six o'clock to help with one feeding as well, which is amazing. So I'm pumping for that. And then um, he said he fed Amelia at one o'clock, which is our girl. And so I'm waiting a little bit longer to feed her things are a little backwards with all the fussiness tonight but 
I'm pumping, getting water downstairs. I just nursed Everett, even though my husband said he fed him a bunch of bottles. I nursed him and he seemed still hungry, so I don't know if he's cluster feeding or if he just wanted the comfort, but now he's finally asleep. Oh, thank goodness. And I'm gonna pump, feed Amelia again, put her to bed, and then hopefully get some sleep between 4.30 and 9 when my mom's here. Yee, wish us luck. Okay, it is 9 a.m. My mom took the babies at 6 a.m. So we got to sleep. Well, actually she gets here at five, so we got to sleep from five to nine. Dean's still sleeping since he was up all night longer than me. And I'm gonna get started on coffee. I hated coffee when I was pregnant, but now I've been able to tolerate it, thankfully. And of course, the babies ate all their food and their medicine with my mom. And now they are sound asleep even though they didn't sleep for mom and dad all night. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. Dean is, I just nursed uh, Amelia and Everett and Dean is now feeding her the supplemental bottle that um, the doctor wanted us to do to get her weight up. So I nurse her and then we feed her a bottle after to just to make sure she's getting enough and tell our lactation consultant meeting. And I'm now pumping again. I haven't had breakfast yet. I've just had my coffee. And we, um, we fed baby boy. He spit up, of course. But now we have him laying down to where he's in the lounger a little bit elevated. And we hope that helps. And... Yeah, I'm gonna make some breakfast. Our dog's eating breakfast. We had somebody knock on the door, our neighbor, and tell us our sprinkler head was broken. So it's just a crazy day and it's only 11. Okay, it is one o'clock. I just showered. I still have to do hair and makeup. I have an appointment to get to at three o'clock for work and then doctor appointment at four. The babies are way off schedule from being up all night and getting um, fed a little later when my mom got here. So I'm gonna wake them up and feed them. I feel really bad waking them up because they were up all night, but I gotta feed them before I go. So we'll see how they do. We switched to using gauze on baby boy's little circumcision and it's doing way better. He's not peeing through everything now, so wish we would have done that from the start. I'm leaving dad at home with the babies for the very first time yes. for me to go to work for an hour. I've been raising them since they were two weeks old. I know, but I was still on my deathbed in the hospital. It's true, he what did take case. care of them for the first three days when I couldn't move and I still had a catheter in. But this is your first time at home with them all by yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine. He's stressing out because we're we're also in the midst of having two week old twins at home refining our house. <laughs> so we are always doing lots of crazy things. And this girl is sad that she can't come with me. She normally comes with me on work appointments, but it's too hot outside. Sorry, girlfriend. You guys stay here. You guys stay here. <laughs> okay. Just got back from my appointment. Dad has Amelia in <laughs> boy clothes. And has Everett in girl clothes. <laughs> Oh man, and he said it was a wild few hours dealing with them on his own. He put them in their car seats so he could take a shower because he got peed and pooped on and interrupted during phone calls and the whole bit. So, official twin dad stuff. What can you do? <laughs> We are just past our 24 hours and we made it. The kids are now on totally different schedules. I am swaying because I have this little guy 
He is still not feeling good from his circumcision and she has been cluster feeding. So they're off by like an hour and a half. So we'll see if we get any sleep tonight. I hope I'm not making you dizzy by swaying. We had three friends drop us off dinner tonight and they are amazing and we love them so, so much. So we have dinner for the next three nights and we couldn't be more thankful because this is a rough week with all of their tongue ties clipped. Both of them got tongue ties clipped. Both of them got heel pricks and he got circumcised. Okay, I better go take care of these little ones. Thanks for hanging out with us.